Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Gucci Beauty Holiday Lip Sets. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favorite, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. We're first going to start off with the Trio Lipstick Set. Then we'll move on to the Velvet Matte Lipstick Set. This set retails for $97 and comes in three different finishes. I do want to read a little bit about this set on Sephora's website. A limited edition three-piece lipstick set in three finishes. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Gucci Beauty. This box is made out of cardboard. It's a sturdy cardboard packaging, which I really do like. Up at the top, there's nothing printed. Same thing on the side, there's nothing there. On this side, there's nothing there either. On the back, you have the shade names, the ingredients listed. It does state that this was made in Italy and it has an 18 month shelf life. Here's what the inside looks like. Up at the top, it says Gucci Beauty. Then you have three different lipstick finishes. We're gonna start off with the first lipstick. I love the packaging, it's so cool and it does have a little bit of weight to it. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. I love the design. Up at the top, it says Gucci. On the bottom, you have the shade name printed. This is called the Velvet Matte Lipstick in 214, call it a day. It has an 18 month shelf life and it was made in Italy. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. Call it a day is described as a rosewood. The formula is very sheer. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the shade in Call It A Day looks like. This shade is so beautiful. I'm gonna press my lips together. I wanna feel the texture. There's no stickiness at all. It feels like a moisturizing lip balm mixed with a tinted gloss. I really do like this formula. This lipstick retails for $45. It's called the Glow and Shine Lipstick. I do wanna read Sephora's description on this lipstick. This hybrid lipstick envelops the lips with hydration while delivering a veil of brilliant glowing color. It creates a luminous glowing finish and long lasting shine and serves as an in-between for a sheer and satin lipstick. I 100% agree with that description. My lips feel nice and moisturized. It has that shine to it and the perfect amount of coverage. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The design on the packaging is gorgeous. I love the flowers all over. It's very vintage, I love it. Up at the top again, it says Gucci. This shade is called 25 Goldie Red. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. It does say Gucci embossed in the lipstick. This is a full size lipstick compared to my mini Path McGrath. I'll open this up so you can see. Here's what it looks like side by side, just in case you wanted a comparison. Goldie Red is described as a Gucci Red Sheer. We have another Sheer formula. Here's what the shade in Goldie Red looks like. This shade is too sheer for my liking. I don't like that you can see my natural lip peeking through. I prefer the first formula we tried. Even though this lipstick shade was sheer, you couldn't see my pigmented lips peeking through. I wanna press my lips together so I can feel the texture. I really do like this formula. Again, it does feel like a lip balm with a tint. The full size retails for $45. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce the name. My French isn't that good. I do wanna read a little bit about this formula. A sheer formula that gives a luminous finish in a palette of 18 shades with a hydrating, lightweight texture. Again, I agree with that statement. The formula feels lightweight on my lips. It feels very moisturizing. It has that sheer tint. Let's see what the last shade in this set looks like. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. Again, very vintage. Up at the top, it says Gucci. This shade is called They Met in Argentina. Here's how much product comes inside. They Met in Argentina is described as a warm rosewood with neutral tones and notes of pink and coral. That's very pigmented with one swipe compared to the other two formulas. Here's what the shade in They Met in Argentina looks like. This shade is so pretty. I'm gonna press my lips once again. I like that I can't feel the formula on my lips. This lipstick has a subtle scent. It smells like a Gucci fragrance. I'm not sure which one, but it's not overpowering. Here's what all three finishes look like swatched on the back of my hand. 
I like the different finishes that are included in this set. My favorite shade was Call It A Day. I love the formula. I also really did like this shade in They Met in Argentina. My least favorite shade was Goldie Red. I didn't like how sheer it looked on the lips. I like the design on the packaging and I like how it has a little bit of weight to it. You can remove the insert and reuse the box, which I really do like. Now let's move on to the Velvet Matte Lipstick Set. Again, this retails for $97 on Sephora's website. I do want to read a little bit about this set. A trio of lipsticks that deliver intense, vivid color with a matte finish all in one stroke. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Gucci Beauty at the top. It has this plastic insert and it's got these two little safety seals. Up at the top, there's nothing printed. Same thing with down at the bottom, there's nothing there. The side of the packaging, there's nothing there either. Same thing on this side. And then on the back, we have the shade names listed, the ingredients. Again, it has an 18 month shelf life and it was made in Italy. Here's what the inside looks like. Let's see what the first color looks like. Again, it comes in this beautiful gold packaging. Up at the top, it says Gucci. This shade is called 209 Mona Leslie Cameo. Mona Leslie Cameo is described as a chocolate rosewood. That shade is gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Mona Leslie Cameo looks like. This shade is stunning. This shade is perfect for fall. Let's see what the next color looks like. The next shade is called Goldie Red. Goldie Red is described as a matte red. Let me fix this swatch. There we go. That's much better. Again, very pigmented. Here's what the shade in Goldie Red looks like. This shade is perfect for holiday. Let's see what the last shade looks like. The last shade is called the Painted Veil. This shade is called 201 The Painted Veil. It's described as a rosewood. Another beautiful shade. Here's what the last shade in the Painted Veil looks like. Another gorgeous shade. Here's what all three shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. I loved all three shades included in this set. You get a beautiful holiday red shade, a gorgeous everyday neutral shade, and a stunning chocolate brown shade. If you were to purchase these shades individually, they would be $45. That would equal to $135. These shades aren't unique at all. You can find similar shades at the drugstore. Let me know in the comments down below which lip set was your favorite. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.